Hi guys, this is Kamal here. This video is all about time in Excel. We will learn how Microsoft Excel stores time, what is the default time format Excel follows and where it is set. Then we will see how to set custom time format and then we will see about time functions, what are the time functions available in Excel and then we will see how to convert text into corresponding time and date and time. So don't miss anything and watch till the end. So Microsoft Excel stores times as fractions and it starts with zero. So at 12 a.m., which is zero hours, zero minutes and zero second, that is considered as 0.0. .0. And when the day ends, that is 23 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, that is considered as 0 0.99999. So as we know, a whole number one is considered as one full day. So in that way, 0 0.5 is half of the day, that is 12 p.m. And 0 0.25, that is one fourth of a day, that is 6 a.m. in the morning. So in that way, any moment of the day can be calculated as a fraction, which can be converted into corresponding time. So if we have both date and time, then the integer is the date and the fraction is the time. So if we have some value like 1st April 2022, 12 p.m. So 1st April 2022 can be converted into the serial number 44652 and 12 p.m. is half of the day that is 0.5. So this whole data will be 44652.5. Similarly 1st April 2022 and 7.15 p.m. Then if you calculate it, it will be 44,652.802. So in this manner, Excel stores time values. But for our convenience, we make it into some format that we'll see now. So every system has a default time format that is set in the control panel. Let's open the control panel. Here we have to go under clock and region. We have to click here, change date and time. So first in this drop down, we will select India. Here it is. So here you can check short time. The default format is HH colon mm tt that is hours colon then minutes then am or pm and long time we have seconds as well and here are some examples so short time will be 429 pm and long time will be 429 17 seconds pm if you click on additional settings and go to time tab then here in this time formats you can also change to any other format and here it shows what the notations mean small h means hour small m equal to minutes and double t that is am or pm small h it is 12 hour format so we have to put am or pm and if it is capital h then it is 24 hour format so i'm not making any changes here and let's go back so that is how you can set your default time format in control panel now let's check custom time format how we can customize our time format to be displayed so these things we have already seen small h that is without any leading zero and it represents hours and double h means with a leading zero similarly for minutes and seconds we'll see that in our excel file here it shows if am or pm is not mentioned then by default it considers 24 hour time format so let's understand everything with some time functions these are the functions we'll see now first is now function let's apply here equal to now so it doesn't take any argument enter and it shows the current date and time so today it is 25th january 2023 and the time is 16:39. so it is in 24 hour format so basically this function returns a serial number which represents this date and time but excel converts it into some date time format so here you can see the type is custom let's check the format in the format cells control one and this is the format it is applied dd hyphen mm hyphen yy yy and then hh colon mm if we click on time then these are the different formats we have we can select any format so here you can see a format with an asterisk so that is the default time format that is set in control panel so if you want to change to any other format from this list that you can select if we select this format so this is basically hh colon mm am or pm and here it shows a sample that is 440 pm click on ok and now you can see here this function now shows only the time value not the date because that is what we have set in the format cells let's go again to the format cells and go to custom and now we'll see how to customize the date and time format so i will select this one double d four times m then four times y then hh colon mm let's click on ok and this is the format january is the full name because in the month we provided four times m and now the time is in hh mm format if you want to make it to 12 hour format that is with am or pm here we just need to let's add second schedule colon ss then am slash pm okay and now you can see 25th january 2023 4 47 56 pm so let's apply here again enter and it shows 4 49 0 3 pm so here you can see check in the system 4 14 pm so that is how if you use this function it will always return the current date and time of the system the next function is second function equal to second and the argument is a serial 
number so let's convert this date and time into a serial number so in this cell go to this drop down and we'll select the general format and this is the corresponding serial number now let's apply this function here equal to second the argument is the serial number let's apply this close bracket enter so this second function returns the second of a particular time if you want to verify then let's click this cell and go to this drop down and here in this time you can see 4 51 40 seconds pm so this was the time when we applied this function and you can see the second was 40 seconds now let's check this function equal to minute again the argument is serial number enter and the minute is 53 we can check it here again this is the time of this serial number that is 4 53 you can observe one thing the time has changed so there is a characteristic of the now function it always gives you the current date and time of the system similarly for our equal to our serial number this enter and it is 16 so we already know the time is now 4 pm which is 16 the next function is time function equal to time now let's check the arguments are hour minute and second so this function gives the current time from our minute and second values so if we have our minutes and seconds in different columns then using this function we can form the time into a single cell or a single value so in our let's select this comma this comma second this now close the bracket and press enter it is 4 55 pm if we change the format to this it shows 4 55 23 pm so you can see the time is keep on changing due to the now function so as i said if you are having hours minute and seconds in different columns using this function you can get all those into a single cell and get a proper time value now let's check equal to time value and here the argument is time text so this function is useful when you have some time in text format we already know if we import our data from any external data source like a website or any other source then excel gets those data which it cannot recognize that it is a time value and it considers the data as a text data so because of that it cannot perform any time operation so we need to first convert those text values into corresponding time values so that we can perform all the time operations so that can be done using this time value function so let's do one thing let's remove this function and first change the type into text of this cell and we'll put a text here which is a time let's say 12 colon 35 colon 23 pm so this is a text value you can see it is left aligned so we already know text values are left aligned by default and now we'll apply the time value function on this text equal to time Time value time text this cell and enter we can see it is converted into corresponding time you can see this is 12 35 23 pm and it is right aligned and we already know date and time values are right aligned by default so it is successfully converted into corresponding time from a text value so that is how we can convert text into corresponding time values in using time value function now next we will see if we have both date and time in text format then how can, can we convert into corresponding actual date and time values so in that case we'll use the time value function for time and date value function for date and then we'll combine both of them using the plus op operator in a particular cell so let's take some date and time in text format in this cell so first let's convert this cell into text format and now we'll put a text let's say 2nd january 2023 12:30 pm so this is a text value you can see it is left aligned so now it has two parts date and time just change the formatting and here we'll apply the date value function for the date part equal to date value and the argument is date text so from this whole text we need to extract only the date part so for that we'll first use the left function because the date part is in the, is in the left part left the text is this comma number of characters it would be 11 then now we are good to go close the brackets so this is the formula equal to date value inside that left in e10 till 11th position press enter and this is the serial number of the date we can check here this is 2nd gen 2023 and in our text also it represents the same date now for the time part we'll use the time value function again similarly from the whole text we'll extract only the time part which is 12 30 pm and the position is from the mid till the right most so equal to time value and in the time text we need to use the mid function which will ex extract the time part from the mid position till the rightmost so mid text will be this whole text comma the start number the start position will be from here position 13 comma number of characters will be so there are total eight characters now we are good to go close the brackets so from the mid position that is from the 13th position it will extract eight characters that that is 12 colon 30 space pm press enter and this is the fraction part which represents the 12.30 pm we can verify here and the time shows 12.30 pm so we have correctly extracted time part from the text now to get this date and time into one cell we will use the plus operator so equal to this plus this cell that is e11 plus e12 enter and this is the number which represents that is 2nd january 2023 12.30 pm so let's give it a format Control one click on custom and let's take this format click on ok 
and this is our actual date and time if you want to use am or pm then we can do it by just adding here am slash pm and click on ok so that is how from a given text can we convert it into actual date and time using date value and time value functions now next we will see some simple add and subtract operations on time using plus and minus operators so here as we have seen uh, we have added date and time using the plus operator so similarly for time operations so let's check if we want to subtract some time from a given time so let's apply equal to now so this is the current uh, date and time so we'll add here am slash pm so it shows 5:26 pm and now on this we'll subtract 0.5 enter and it shows just 12 hours back that is 5:26 am now let's check here we'll add 5 a whole number it represents the days equal to now plus 5 enter 30th january 2023 17 27 so from now next 5 days now in this formula we'll subtract both date and time so it is 5.75 that is 5 days and 0.75 time so 0.75 is 3 fourth of a whole day now minus 5.75 enter and it is 19th january 2023 23 28 that is from current time 5 days and 18 hours back 0.75 is 18 hours so here we check it returns the date and time 12 hours back next plus 5 returns the date and time 5 days from now next here it is minus 5.75 returns 5 days and 18 hours back from now so that's all guys we discussed quite many things about time in excel so that's all for this video about time in excel if you have any question do let me know in the comment section and share it with your friends if you like such videos please subscribe to my channel Thank you so much for watching.